Hello everybody, welcome to episode 16 of the Spotter's Guide, and if you haven't guessed, we are still in the other location. So, uh, Sin's been doing a little bit more work on the castle, as you can see there's some walls and such around here. You're in the channel still. Echo! And what I didn't get to show you guys yesterday, I am not high, I am just as tired as I was when I was recording last night. Tree. He was high last night too. I was not. Instigators. Sheep. Never mind. Don't believe him. He can't spell believe. All I need now is you know somebody reporting me for drug usage and then having to explain that my brother's an asshat. It wasn't me. It's was Kenta. <laughs> Kenta doesn't have a mic. <laughs> Sir, produce your microphone. Produce your microphone. You will do it now. So this is the throne room, which I somehow missed last night. If you actually look at the uh, video, you can see it off to the right when I'm walking around the top edge. It doesn't have like the wooden or the top obsidian and such, or basalt. Oops. Oops. Nobody saw that? Everything is fine. Ah! There will be no oopsing in the throne room. I, I didn't oops. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I distinctly heard an oops when I was up there. Yeah, but if you didn't see an oops, then everything's okay. There, I, I make a pass at you. Something is right. Don't be making passes at me. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Oh, creeper. Creeper in your basement. Yeah, about that. Where? <laughs> Psych. I'll talk about that to you, will ya? Gonna just parkour a little bit across the top of your castle and fail alright so now that that's over I'm gonna go head back uh, it's been quite a few days we're into late summer now, so the wheat should definitely be available for us to go and harvest. And this should give us a uh, trial run. Uh, I also wanted to address the issue that I said 132 would not be out for a while, and it was released, I think, uh, an hour or so before I made this video public. Sigh. Uh, it is a little bit buggy now, although we're already up to release C, so a lot of the bugs are being fixed. Oh, fudge. Just run! So uh, a lot of the bugs are being fixed. Uh, looking to upgrade to 132 fairly shortly. I mean, most of us have been waiting for the ability to write in books so we can start writing down the smithing recipes and such um, for quite some time here. So that's a little bit exciting to get that sort of thing. What I am going to miss is apparently you can't push people off cliffs anymore. And that was one of our past fun times here of just, you know, slowly nudging people left or the right. But, no more. Uh, so yeah, uh, late August, take a look at the vegetation, red apples, should be harvestable in September. So, got about a month to go, and we should actually see if these apple trees are harvestable. I don't think they are. Uh, that's another thing I believe that will actually be fixed in the 132 release, so looking forward to that. But uh, I'm not going to do too much ma more major construction until we do swap over since it does seem to be fairly near in the future. Uh, I do want to work on the road here, I figure that's a little worthwhile. Uh, maybe go up and see if I can't get a tower up there like I wanted. Just, you know, things to kind of pass the time. But mostly I'm interested in my wheat field! Yay! Oh, no, the entrance is here somewhere. There we go. So, take a close look at the weed here. It all looks the same, but it looks brighter over here versus darker. I'm pretty sure this should be harvestable, though. So, no, no. I guess that's not harvestable yet. I thought it would have been. 
Okay, let's uh, just go get that shale then. There's our little hidey hole entrance from last night. Maybe we'll dig out the basement. We got our brand new shovel. That was something I wanted to do. It's not a major construction, it'll just be an extension between these. Uh, I could then actually seal this off. So the only way in here would be through my place. And I came in here for the shale, which I do not have on me. Maybe it's in the upstairs chest where I've just been dumping stuff. Oh, do I really only have three shale bricks left? That's really rather disappointing. Yeah, well, uh, scratch that idea. <laughs> so I dropped off most of my andesite for work on the castle. Um, it turns out the, those blocks I put down last night were properly placed, so that's all cool. But yeah, without... Uh, without any shale, I, I guess I didn't have as much as I thought, but seems a bit odd. This will be a bit tricky here, as I do not really want to dig into the water, but I would not mind a glass wall into the water. And you can see with the uh, little bit of the um the uh da -da 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 -da. what do I have here? This stuff. <laughs> Which is completely ah gravel. It's completely slipping my mind right now. But uh with the gravel you can actually see where I did a little bit of uh filling in of the the land as this actually used to be water so this peninsula wasn't as big. I filled it out a little bit so I could build here. Uh it ended up working out pretty well. So there we go there. Got some more over this way. And I'm going to replace. Whoa, sweet. So now we know exactly where this basement can connect into that one. But I'm going to make these stone pillars come all the way down. Ah, not the pillars, the actual like stone wall. So that'll be the outside edge of the basement as well. This will also keep me semi-safe from wherever the water is going to be. But this is a good use of our steel pick. I've actually been thinking about maybe taking um, survival packs. Ah, that's got to be my... Uh, my dock over that way. But I've actually been thinking about taking survival packs to the new world. Uh, the way that would work out is everybody would be able to like take over one row of inventory or something like that or you know like uh, a chest full of gear to the new world but every time I think of trying to do something like that it always becomes complicated um, I don't know just as opposed to starting from scratch but it is that first few days that is the most exciting you know, you get the feel, it's like as soon as you get a couple pieces of steak in your hand, you feel very, very accomplished. You make your uh, your stone axe for a weapon, and everything starts to look even brighter. And then you start hunting uh, sticks and stones so you can break creatures' bones. Set up a nice little, uh, nice little, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. can't make a really a dirt house. But, you know, find a cave, settle down. Uh, got the stairs coming down there. So I think the rest of us have been kind of expecting the uh, the bit of the change. 
and the new server. Uh, maybe that's kind of why I've been like subconsciously slowing down my building a little bit. Oh, there we go, there we go. And that's a stair on the inside, right? Nope. That is the last place for the stone pillar. So as I recall, I did these walls out of mudstone. And we just happen to know where we can get a ton of mudstone. Oops. As soon as we figure out a spot where we can dump all the stuff. There we go. Three shale, that is so disappointing. Grow, cheery, grow. Oh! Nice! Give some good hydration to the plants. Let's go take a peek. I think that this is some of the stuff that they miss when you're not around, even though they like fast forward and grow. Yes is I don't think that they take into account like uh, rainfall or things like that. That's why I've been still building mine near the uh, the water. Is the the water still hydrates, but rain is the best. Hopefully, we'll get to see this all harvested. I'll have to take a peek at the wiki. I know um, I think Krakus actually or Krakus, sorry, Krakus, whatever. He, uh, I believe, updated the uh, agriculture page with some of the different uh, types of plants and like their growing stages and such. So we can try and take a glimpse there to try to figure out when some of these things are done. Oh, do 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 do. No, no extra room for anything. Bow and arrow, there's the bow, or the arrows at least. Don't need the bull really anymore. There we go, we can put some, whoa, flux. I'm in the room, I might as well put it back where it goes. There we go, got our steel axe. Gonna go and get some mudstone. Can also take a look for some magnetite and the like. Ah, we'll let that mushroom grow. So, ah, I'm gonna miss the rain. But yeah, um, mudstone and the sedimentary rocks are actually a pretty good place to find the, um... No, 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 wait, mudstone's all the way down. Are actually a pretty good place to find things like, um, magnetite and such for iron ore. So, while I wish I could find some of the other rocks that I'd actually be looking for, um, the places that this mine lead to are actually pretty good for trying to produce a uh, new location for ore, or iron ore specifically. Even though what I'm mostly finding is not that. So as I recall, I had the entrance here. No, yeah, this, this looks wrong already. Is I know it looped back in. Ah, there it is. But yeah, it should be a hop up. There we go. And this should take us directly to where the mudstone is. Um, a complete set of walls. I'd probably feel comfortable taking back a couple of stacks. So I'm going to start mining. There's clay. Oh, oh. Nah. It's claystone. There's the mudstone. Heading off to the plains. So I'm going to start mining. And I'll probably fast forward a bit through this since mining is somewhat boring. And I do not have the blue steel. Kenta did offer it around, but I'm just uh, not interested in jumping up to the blue steel as of yet. So I will talk to you guys in a moment.
Alrighty, so now we have a couple of stacks of the mudstone. You can also see I got some uh, smooth limestone. I think that'll go pretty good with the basalt. Maybe do some uh, neat little flooring or something like that up in the uh, up in the place. Uh, I was doing a bit of uh, a bit of tapping with my pro pick, and nothing really uh, seemed to show up. So didn't really uh, do anything with that. Oop, getting a little hungry. Uh, special thanks to Kenta, who uh, went out hunting. He brought da back like uh, 14 stacks of uh, steak. And since I was hungry over at the other place, asked for his food, he just pointed me out to the community food chest, which was just filled with uh, cooked steak. So I snagged a stack from there. And so far it's been keeping me going. Mm -mm -mm. Up we go. Nope, oh, up. Yep, there we go. Into the end of sight in the diorite. Means we're getting close. Oop, so does the sound of rain. Oh, oh yeah. Hi ya! And in we go. So, uh, we want bricks. That's why I could just mine it the way it was. And starting with this, just going to put down some walls, Oops. hopefully in a less asinine sort of manner than that. I'm going to leave this as an archway for now, because I don't know exactly how I'm going to connect these two together. I actually, I, I guess I didn't realize that that was so far down below where this was going to be, but you know, some kind of a staircase or whatever in that general direction seems like a good start. Now my house isn't floating. I'm still going to try and do some kind of tunnel over the water in this direction. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going to be the best way to go about doing that, but I think for sake of ease, it's dig in the direction, find the water, build the glass wall, uh, make the little tunnel and such, and then replace the dirt. Oops. Replace the dirt so it can grow grass over on top of this all again. Two, three, do, 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 do. Let's get the bottom and to the top. So we will definitely want a different sort of material for the stairs. I'm actually thinking of just doing it in normal oak stairs. Oh! Haha! <laughs> Come out of the basement and it stops. Um, some of the other stuff we're going to do, if I do actually want a cliff down there, I guess... This has to go. Because I need a bit of a deeper... So, I'm going to make a quick drop down, so like every degrade in elevation is going to be about two at a time. That way we get to uh, a depth pretty quickly here. It also explains why I need a dock in such shallow water. And yeah, we'll replace what's under there. be one. So we'll go down, down. Uh, down, 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 down. Oops, not there, not there. Yeah, sure, why not.
So sometimes crafting is all about terraforming instead of actually crafting. <laughs> In this case, I'm expecting a particular sort of view provided by an underground set of windows. There we go. And since the natural pond did not provide this for me, I shall do it myself. The only problem is that it's easier to dig in shallower water. So I'm not going to flatten out like all of this over here. I'm actually just going to make it look like this is the deeper section. So, um, yeah. No real fast way to do this, I suppose. It is down too deep. Stupid of me. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I dug a little too fast. Same with that, probably. And I just had a good thought. And we are going to compromise. It was go make a door. And bring it down here. And use it. But hey, look at that door. Mahaha. This way I can stand down here. Let me in, door! Let me in! And increase our digging speed. I maybe a little too much. So I don't want to take down the second tier. Still kind of feels like it thinks I'm swimming. Although, that's actually kind of good with how fast I go through this material here. Yeah. The slowness actually helps out a bit. And the more I look at this, the more I'm starting to think sheer cliff down would be better. Here we are again. And then we'll just kind of tear it up underneath the dock so the transition isn't as noticeable. 
And to do that, we need to take off these two. And... There we are. Want those two... go over to. Yep, that's what I thought. Gather up some of the resources. I think we will round out that edge there, but that over there looks pretty good. some uh, smart movement zippiness. And finally, we want to take out this ledge, at least from this side. Then I'm thinking this side, we'll just take it down a notch. So it's still kind of tiered along the edges, but this will give me more to work with for the uh, the frontal part of the house here. Uh, I'm actually thinking of building a little glass dome kind of thingy down underneath there. A little subset land. So let's get our door back. Oops, and that's not working right. Key to chopping down a door is make sure you're aiming at the spine. Ooh, nighttime's happening. Good time to put the door back. Okie dokie. So, if I were to be a secret door out into... I think I'm going to put it right there. Um, I'm going to actually do this. Oops. Because I am expecting the water to come flowing in. And I'd like to know where it's going to stop. There we go. So... One there, that's going to stay up. Perfect. go. Let's put that back into place, that back into place, then that back into place. We'll dig out this wall here, keeping ourselves somewhat safe. Uh, do, 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 build the wall back up. Taking this wall down. considering what we're building into. So... I think this is where we'll go get that smooth basalt. Oop! Mushrooms. Which I saw in there. Nice. Oops. Ha, that was me holding down the shift key, not the grab key. Now it's time for shift. There we go. So, I don't want this to be two down. I actually want this to be one down. Get our chisel back out, get our hammer. Eat a steak. Then we'll be replacing this floor with the limestone and basalt floor that I have. I know when we first put in the floor upstairs, I tried to do a pattern and it didn't work out. 
but I am more hopeful that I can do something with just the two colors this time around. Ooh, it's nice and dark down here. Ah, oh, I thought that was a zombie. It kind of like I'm like slowing down, keep an eye on that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now here's a weird thing about what I like doing, is I know this goes down into dirt, but I actually like making my foundation layer go one deeper than the floor. Tricky part here, and here. Anybody else hear the uh, Lion Sleeps Tonight song beat when you're digging dirt? A wee mo a wee mo -a. Just me? Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm officially expecting people to be talking to me while I'm recording. This is not a good sign. Uh, it does give more credence to my I am very tired, though, stance. I'll do that. Those are going to be steps. It'll be nice coming down. I think I'll put in like a staircase. Actually, I could almost use, instead of the basalt, I could use the stones I got from the nether. Let me get some lights going here. Nice limestone outer ring. Yeah, I wanted to actually show the contours there. further into that. This will make that a bit easier. So, uh, this is going to be kind of a bright red. I'm used to it being more of a darker, somber color. So yeah, I think I'll just stick with the uh, salt. Give this a nice jump. Swap over to the salt. That one's got to go. This is where the, the pattern dictates a bit more of the form. Just like here. We'll put back in some limestone around this edge. Ah, for the stairs, yeah, oak. Ah, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, what? Smart movement damage again. No, oh, it was banging on a door yet. Oh, dirt block fell. Okay, down, down, down. Let's get the uh, supporting blocks out. And no wood on me. I do believe I saw some kind of... yeah, there we go. Ash, do I have a saw or something down here? Oak planks. Ha! <laughs> Benchmarking, eh? That's not gonna be enough. Come here, Birchwood. Of 
four stacks will definitely be enough. So, walking up to, then up to, up to. New. How did this work before? Uh, that's probably already off by one by four. One by four. All right, that's really starting to make me nervous. Then we go up. Then we go up. Yeah, and before I would just always hop down. So we will actually up one. There we go. Not that. Not this. Need one, two, three. Where are you? And I should have tons of these somewhere. Ah, six. Maybe not tons, but six is a number that will suffice in place of three. And tons. Even going to one, two, three. Nope, that's lame. <laughs> I do want something behind this, though, now that I'm looking at it. So, let's undo that. Let's actually solid this up. And see, that once again dictates the pattern. A little less basalt, a little more limestone. Yeah, even again. One, two, three. Creepers over that away. So here we are. We have a fairly modest uh, downstairs here. Nope, that'll stop me from going up. That just looks in the way. It doesn't really add anything to the aesthetics. So over here thinking the staircase is going to go in this location. Uh, this is our chosen rock. Just get it barely there. ceiling cap. Wow, there's even water all the way back here. So there's our next step. I think at this point though we will turn it down. to actually keep this as just a flat block here for like a little bit of a landing 
Um, let's do a little recessed here. Torch in the back. Stair down. And clearly we'll need another step down there. Maybe I should do that one more down so I can just have the steps come out evenly. Yeah, why not? We got the time. Yep, so it's gone. Oh no! And a little bit more better planned. Stairs, landing stairs. Take this back, get rid of that. More again of, you know, the foundation going all the way down. Oops. Fix that moment. Landing. Take this back. Take back our torch. Then we'll do this as the little alcove. Still has dirt issues. stack of this to go through, so no worries there. Oi. And the torch can go there now. Offset that one by one. Do a little bink bink around the corner. Then go around that corner. Nice. I'm not entirely sure yet if I would actually want to redo this entire thing to look like a, uh, a basement, but I will have to say the construction that Sin is doing is definitely inspiring. It's a pretty big castle, and then uh, there's the boat from Krakus that, you know, it's not the Golden Hind that I've seen him make, but it's still one of the uh, larger constructions going on right now. And Kenta's massive house, which I still have no idea what it looks going to even supposed to look like when it's done. Almost want to do an alcove there. Kind of make this like a little bit of a roundabout. Yep, don't.
don't want the grass falling in on us. Then let me knock that out. Nope, cool. Oh, yep. Knew there was a reason. Ah, that'll become apparent when I explained that I was going to chisel that thing back into the corner so it kind of had a little bit more of a, a recess here. So I am going to put the block back. Then, one, two, three, four, five. Oops, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. I have kind of the lights coming down and around. Need to get a ray, uh, get rid of that. Wish I'd seen that before. Not that it really cost me anything but a couple seconds, but, you know, it's nice to be thorough. That's kind of where things have ended up. So now we can focus back on the underwater. I think I'm going to get a wooden door, maybe for that. Maybe an iron door, though. You know, kind of show the I'm dealing with uh, pressure differentials. Two, two fell. One, two, two fell. So one. And the problems of working with water, I mean the privileges of working with water. This is where all the sand is going to come in a little bit handier, as we can do things like that with it. It's good for helping to get rid of water. But what I really want to do is I want to build my tunnel out of sand. Um, it's going to go down. We already got the up. Yeah. Get the feeling I should just turn off smart moving for this part. Oops, oops. Bring it on in, yep, there we go again. This time I'll just aim for the top. So I'm going to encase that in glass, is I'm going to go there, I'm going to go pick up the sand. Oh, I got, should have enough of this. And then I'm going to encase it in the glass that I have. Oh, you did not. Skeleton's like, oh yes I did. So then we just drop that off. Get our other stack. So we'll come out like that. I want it to go down another notch, but we can dig that out when it's all said and done. Seriously, I'm not even in the house. You're going to go knocking on the doors? Always to the workstation. I think they can smell like the stacks of steak I have in there or something. And I just saw the flaw in this design. I need to move it over to the right one. There, well, this way. I was thinking, you know, come out, I need to over to the right. So that actually looks good there. If I put 
put another piece of sand here I can stand and we'll just start moving this over is I, d I don't mind this post going down through it's you know kind of like how I got the sports down there so it'll go down through the left hand side of the underground bubble uh, what I do mind is when it was going down through the center <laughs> So this will now be glass. Let me pick up the rest of the sand as well. So that should now be going into the center. So we meet again, skeleton, eh? That's right, can't shoot down, can ya? Uh, it's actually kind of easier to see from this angle. So here's my three front again. Need to move this three over here. Here's my three back. And I guess I'm going to have to spin it a little bit sooner than I thought. Haha, <laughs> had a spider on my head and didn't even know it. Okay, we are almost to where we want to be. Okay, so that is what I'm basically thinking this is going to look like. I will now get the glass, of which I should have a couple of stacks. Gotta be careful though, because you can't pick glass back up. There's a stack. There's some pains. Oh! Remember what I said about being careful. It's probably in the house. I'll just continue the search here though. Go. And I haven't checked these in a while. That's where a good chunk of my wood is, I suppose. Damage? No damage, nice. or water placing or glass I'm not placing water <laughs> Oy, yeah I'm probably running on a lot of adrenaline right now but it is showing there almost done Storm. And I'm going to take some damage, but... 
Aha, only one. And done. I do want a nice solid pillar. Oops. smoke. Hey, it's speed. <laughs> I wish I could do the disapproving glance real quick. <laughs> Those of you who are on the IRC channel frequently knows what that is. Know what that is? Anyways, there we go. So a little bit of water trickle, I think it's right there. That's easily fixed. Nope, still water trickle. However, not of a immediate direct concern of mine. I have an underground to vanquish or to relive. Ah. Mistake one. That's where this part comes out. Oh, Mr. Uh, Kenta. Oh, and it stops raining right when he leaves. I'm starting to think he's cursed. So, uh, the floor clearly sucks. Uh, what I really want to be able to do is redo that in sandstone. Which, do I remember? Oh, I do. Haha. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be happy with just the normal sandstone here. I do, however, need more sand. One, two. Oh, gotta be careful with a steel shovel when it comes to sand. Oops. Right tool. case where I think I might just do the obsidian there down. Oop, oop. Trixie. That's water, so that actually should not be sandstone. That can go back to being dirt. I'll either make a slab out of that, or... <laughs> I don't actually think this will work. Yeah, I didn't think so. This clearly should be glass. Did 
Do 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 steak. So I saw a hotel that actually exists. I believe it's on an island southeast of India, where the room is like ten feet underwater with an acrylic dome ceiling that's you know like really thick and everything like that. So I think I'm actually going to move this to be uh, my bedroom, but I definitely want to finish the flooring first. Uh, I can start by. Hiya. And I believe there it is. Mm -mm -mm. That'll work. Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Won't do all of it. And the ones I don't have picked up, of course. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of the zombie meat. I know I was looking for that yesterday. Screw you, zombies. Yeah. Not going to listen to that for the rest of the time I'm working on my bedroom. You know what? Maybe I am. <laughs> Seriously, that was enough for him to decide to take the fall. Uh, gotta love the AI in this game sometimes. I'm building up to get you. No, you've built close enough. I'll come to you. <laughs> There we go. So now we go down one layer lower. And this is where we get to build our mostly small but effective bedroom. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. Yep, I got more than enough sandstone to do that. There we go. How's that? How is that? Uh, I'm going to... See, this is where I need to be able to chisel out two sides at the same time, because I'd like to do a little molding around this but I can't get something there and there because of the way the slabs work. Ooh, I could try to round up the room a little bit, but I don't want to. I can go get my bed. <laughs> Half the day is done. Uh, you know what? Chipped opal, chipped whatever the hell. So, I like sleeping in a corner. Uh, I think that, that works out pretty good. Going to, like, get some... All those reeds I have will now have a purpose. Put a little bookshelf over in the corner here. Uh, this pillar is also going to have a purpose, which makes me think I should almost do the same thing on that side. Get some basalt. thinking nice view, but how about somewhat of a sane orientation of the room? 
a little basalt nightstand. That's going to be Trixie. Go in. Oh. Creating slabs. So, if I'm going to shrink every single side, I want it two by two. I do four from each side. issues with this, isn't there? One, two, three, four. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. I was wondering how I was going to get around to doing the uh, backside, but I, I kind of like it, you know, being attached to the wall there like that. That actually works pretty good. So we have a little coffee table on the side. Well, nightstand, actually. Should I make it lower? Mm, nah. Works pretty good. Still daylight out. We'll get a set of bookshelves and put them there. Maybe make like a little chair with the stairs and a couple of signs there. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh, cap this, right? Doesn't need to be all that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, grass there. The thing is, my, my whole wall area is about the size of this house. Nope, that was one too many. Look at that. Uh, I'm going to skip the door, seeing as how this is kind of a required passageway now. Ta-da! have any stairs around. It's like I think I found all four and had a specific um, use for them over behind me. There's the saw. So, we shall utilize this to our advantage. So reportedly, 132, we get uh, slabs and such the right color. I wonder if we get stairs the right color. That would be cool. So there's that. Now I know, <laughs> I know, we have all those extra signs and stuff from the original attempt at farming that kind of, oh, hello, mushrooms. One, two, one, two. You know, I almost say when there's a mushroom within range, it seems to increase the growth rate, as opposed to decrease the growth rate. Oh, come on, they're here somewhere. There they are. One. One thing which can two. Down to four, which can then make like three things a week. Uh, so 
So we'll do the chair here. Uh, done. Nice. It's been a very long time since I've made um, the rudimentary furniture like that there. <laughs> Ta-da! Got the lights, got the glass ceiling. Alright, time to get the books, make them, put them into bookshelves. Oops, oops, no, no, no. The... Wow, I actually hope I have enough sugar cane. I haven't been growing it for uh, quite some time. Hope I didn't start throwing it out. Yeah, well, sure. Sugar cane, it's all right here. I'm like, no, it, it should be here. <laughs> Zinc, ash, all right. It's time to just. Uh, unload the inventory. Eight new chests. Good, good, good. Because I just happen to have a freaking basement. So since Meeb's not in here, although I'm not in the, the main chat channel, they're chatting away without me, uh, but since Meeb's not in here, I'm assuming he's recording. Isn't the Airplay Dark Age Camelot? How do you do, do we never know? Keep that, keep that. You ever do any of the um, castle battles taking off one of the castles? Never know, never know. Never know. Now, which chest had all of the... So that should be, if I recall correct, 64 books. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Why not? And I have more than enough paper to last me a lifetime. Going to need some more planks, though. As even eight will not be enough. One book. Ma, 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 ma. And I believe I said downstairs was where I had a ton of wood hiding out, right? Yes, there we go. book add a little too much, just enough. Torch? One of the, or blaze rod? Uh, okay.
So for decoration, I am going to go snag some cobblestone. What time of year is it? August 4th. So I'm probably going to be asleep when the apples are harvestable again. Oh, staircase. Hello. Gotta say, I still like this this contrasty pattern. Uh, next time, I think it will be basalt. Whoa! I do think it'll be basalt roadways next time around. And uh oh, neat! And I, I like the the smooth in the center, the bricks along the side. It just gives a nice uh, texture, a nice touch to it. Okay, rock. Granite cobblestone. That's not food. So I think that's it. Whoa! How did... Didn't even know that was possible. Swoosh, swoosh. So I'm going to make a brewing stand and stick it on top of the left... Uh, oh, the left bookcase? Yeah, I think the left bookcase would ha have the nicest look to it. Wee, Sploosh! So one of the benefits we had from doing that nether run before we upgraded was we actually got some nether supplies pink sweet uh... let me see I uh, see mushroom there we go now, if I can remember how to make bottles, I think it requires a crafting table since that didn't work. It's like a bucket made out of glass. Yes, it is. Nice. Oop, steak time. Looks like I have my own little uh, brewing station. You know, I got the little skull and crossbones on there. So not too bad, you know, nice little room. Maybe I'll make a set of low tables here. Let's uh, by the low tables I'm just going to have these things be here and here. Let's make sure I'm creating slabs. Oh, hammer. There we go. Just go up two and then down seven. Then Stick the floor back in with that. Sand.
and stone it up. I don't know. That looks lame. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, don't want it on both sides. Can't put them on either side of this. I could put one right there or right there. Nah, good enough. And uh, all night, I did not set my spawn point. Good. Okay, well, hopefully uh, 16 this is. 17 or 18 might be uh, 1302. I'm actually going to go look at the changelog now and start evaluating with the other people that are on the server. See when we start, uh, start doing that. So look forward to the new changes. I'm going to be starting up the uh, tutorial stuff again with the 132 build. I might even record one of those tonight. It is running a little late. Uh, everybody's aware that I'm a, a bit tired as it currently stands. So no promises on that popping up. But I'll talk to you guys all later. Please leave me some comments. I'll see you next time.